Okay, <clears throat> now we're going to take a proper look at how this regulator works. Here is the regulator over here. I've taken the front cover off, the front cover is over there. Now this particular regulator is marked ZFZK0806A. Not that that's important. My little clip over here is the wrong one. Okay, that's why it's upside down, you see. But because it's the wrong size, it doesn't fit in the right way. That's why it's upside down. I had to basically rewire everything here, which was a big pain in the ass. Um, now my problem, it turned out, was this red wire over here, which is the top, goes into the top left. There was a break in it down the line. Now this is actually the cable that goes directly to the battery through the fuse over here. Okay. And what happens is the AC voltage, the current, comes through, I think it's this white wire, I could be wrong, comes through one of these wires from the uh, magneto, which is over here, which is also called a stator or an alternator, okay? Then it's converted from AC voltage into DC voltage and then goes out basically on this red wire to the battery to charge the battery. Okay, that's how it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little test. What I've done is I've jammed my negative terminal here. It's making contact with the frame, which is what you need. The alternator is properly grounded. This is something you have to make sure of or the alternator won't work. I mean the regulator won't work. Um, I've set it to, let's see, DC voltage over here because that's the range we're looking at. I can actually take this clip out. Now, <clears throat> if we take a look, I'm going to test the red top right hand side, okay? Let's take a look. And there we go, you see it's connected to the battery, so I'm getting the battery's readout of 12.9 volts. Now the top yellow, which is on the top left over here, top yellow, well it's yellow on mine, it could be different on yours. Uh, I'm getting a reading of zero. Okay, now let's take a look at the bottom left, which is the white one. And that's the one I suspect comes from the stator. I'm getting nothing. And I should get nothing from the green as well. Yes, zero. Now um, I'm going to actually start the bike and I'm going to switch it to AC voltage. Okay, AC voltage 200. Let me start the bike. You can start the bike without the regulator connected. Yeah, oh, helps if I turn on the key. Okay. Now we're going to see if I get any readings with, under AC voltage. Let's try the red one, which was on the top left. And yes, I'm getting 27.1. Okay, now this is interesting. Let's go for the white one. And the white one I'm getting a 14.7, etc. The green one, okay, let's see. I'm getting nothing. And the yellow one, I am getting a 12 point uh, something, 11. So. We can see there's definitely voltage coming through here. Let's see if we've got any DC volts on these. Okay, let's try the white one. Zero. Green one. Zero. The red one, of course, we're getting the 12 volts because that's directly connected to the battery. And then, oops, let's try the yellow one. Zero. Okay, so let me hook this up. Now it's hooked up. And now let's see what kind of voltage we're getting when it's hooked up. It's on DC voltage, I'm going for the red one. And we're getting a good 13.10. So now you see it's charging. The voltage is coming through on the, the white and the yellow one, as far as I can see. And it's coming out a proper voltage on the red one. Okay, so that should answer your questions. Um, let me turn it off. Oh, just, just for interest sake, let's go through these different ones now it's connected. Okay, the white one we get a 0 0.5 something. The green one we get a 0. The yellow one we also get a 0 0.5 around about. It's jumping up, it'll get to 0 0.5. Okay, hopefully this explains your problem for you. If not, I'll strip this whole thing down. But one thing you should check is this red wire. Make sure it's connecting to your battery properly. You should get a readout, no matter what, from this red wire. You know, if your engine's running or not. So trace it back down as far as you can and try to find a brake if there is one. Okay, I certainly hope this helps you.